Welcome. Today we're going to learn how to braid challah. This is my friend, Janik. Hi, Gilachaya. Gilachaya, that's her Hebrew name, and today's Gilachaya day. Um, if you want, take your challah, cut it into three pieces, make a simple three braid, and it's perfect, and you don't have to do another thing to it. So, Nishama is going to show us how to make a three braid. That's a classic braid, classic challah. And you know what's so nice about that? Your kids can do it with you. Nishama, do you want to teach how to do it? Yeah. Okay, say out loud. First you take this one, and then you put it in the middle. Nice. Basically, the only thing is switching. Mm -hmm. See those and people over there? Take this one, mm -hmm. and move it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Then you take the blue one again, mm -hmm. and the red, and put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then take the blue one, and put it in the middle, and then the yellow one and put it in the middle and then take the red one. How do you know how to do this so well? And then pinch at the bottom. Nice. Where'd you learn that? From my mom. I didn't tell her to say that. <laughs> okay, I'm, you know what I'm doing? I'm making the top a little bit tighter and look what we have. A challah braid. Isn't it pretty? Should I show you what you could do with it? You could squish it up and when you squish up a challah braid, it makes mm -hmm. it look just more luxurious and beautiful. How do you like that? Good? Good. All right. Say bye to everyone. Bye. Bye. I like to make a six braid, and I'll tell you why. It rises really beautifully and looks majestic, and also there's more dough and less crust, so it's really fluffy. Now, Janet has made this gorgeous creation. This is a four braid. Mm -hmm. So she's going to show me how to make a four braid. I'm going to show her how to make a six braid. I don't know how. <laughs> Coming right up. Me neither. We're gonna. We're actually learning right here. It's a learning right curve. now. Yeah. <laughs> so when you make a six braid, you just have to repeat this little mantra to yourself. It goes like this: second one over, first one in the middle. And when I braid, I, I actually say that. So check it out. Find your second one. It's the top. Oh, one second. We gotta start again. Our things are not in the same order. Red, blue. Okay. Okay. Ready? Alright, so when you make a six braid, you have to say this little mantra, or at least I have to, in order to get through it. And it goes like this. Second one over, first one in the middle. Second one over, first one in the middle. And what you're doing is you're alternating right and left. That's right. Let's do it together. Um, let's, let's start again. Let's do it together. Okay. Ready? Let's take second one over. Okay. First one in the middle. See how there's four strings left? So the first one goes in the middle of those two four strings. Good. And if you want, you can just neaten it up and make everything nice and tight. Now let's start from the other side. The second one is our pink one. Second, second one over. over. First one. First one. Uh -uh, on the same side. First one. In the middle. In the middle. In the middle of the two. This and two. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I want to thank Rebbe and Goldberger because that's the synagogue that I go to. And I learned this in a little uh, Saturday night class we did there. Really special. Okay, let's start again. Second one over, start with the orange. First one on that same side, in the middle. In the middle. Yeah, so you can do this like a two-handed thing, like this. Let's try it, pick them both up at the same time. Check it out. Second one. I think I'm out of order. Are you? Why I am. Over here. Second one over, first one in the middle. Second one over, first one in the middle. Now where you up to? No, we're the same. Okay, now we're the same. Okay, ready? Okay. Is that okay that we stopped? Okay. So let's try it like this. Sec one, two, three, go. Second one over, over. First, first one in the middle. You can train yourself so that your hands just want to do that. Wait a minute. Second one over, first one in the middle. Uh -huh. Okay. Now hold the two over here, and this okay. is your second one. Second one over, first one over. in the middle. Good. Let's do the other side. Second one over, over first, first one in the middle. middle. There you go. Again, second one over, over first, first one in the middle. I, I think I'm getting in the hang of it's this. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's very cool. It's so colorful. I love it. Okay. Okay. Ready? Second one over, second, first one in the middle. Second one over, first one in the middle. Mm hmm. Fine. And this side? <laughs> okay. Second one over, first uh -oh. one in the middle. So why are we doing this with uh, with color? I think it's just easier. Afterwards, um, 
we can look at it with dough. I don't know if we have any dough left to show you how to do it with dough, but it's just easier to know that we're on the right track. Yours okay. is so much prettier than mine. I think so. What do you think? So no, no, no. Are you kidding? Let's do it again. Let's finish it off. Over. Second one over. First one in the middle. Second one over. First one in the middle. Second one over. First one in the middle. Wrap it up at the bottom. Just give it a nice squeeze. And if you want, you can push the whole thing together. Again, let's... Ta-da! Ta-da! All right, your turn, Janet. Okay. Well, good. Okay. Now we're gonna do a four braid, and I, you know what? I am a very comfortable being the teacher. Now I gotta be the student okay. on camera. Help. Okay. Do these need to be any longer? So just make them a moderate length. I usually go about the width of this table, but for learning purposes, we'll just make it. Now we switch places, way. so now I can watch you. Wait, what are you doing? So I'm just like making, putting them all like sort of in a uniform line and making sure they're all even. Okay, we're good. Okay, mm -hmm. so when I make a four braid, the first thing I do is that I lay out two equal sized uh, ropes, ropes, ropes. Mm -hmm. and then I take one rope in my hand like this, mm -hmm. and then I lift one of the ropes mm -hmm. and I put it down in the middle like that. Okay. So I'm making a, a tic-tac-toe board, basically. Okay, gorgeous. Did I do it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So then, and then I lift the opposite one and set Whoa, this down. Hold on. Then I lift this one. Right. The one next to it. And, and I take this one. one right. And, and I put just this. put it there. Put it there. Thank you. So Good. you want it to have a neat tic-tac-toe oh, board. Oh, perfect. I'll just lower it. Yeah. Got it. So then yes. we start, we notice that some are under, and the one that is its direct parallel partner is over. Got it. Okay, so now we have our nice little board, yeah. and we're going to take all of the ones that are under and put them over its partner. So here's how I do it. I, I'm taking my orange one first, and I'm going to cross it with the pink. Got it. And then I'm going to take the white one and cross it over the blue. Right. And then on the opposite side, I'm taking the pink and putting it over the orange. Mm, it's like a little, yeah, it's cute. It's like weaving. It is. It's a weaving. And what's so yes. interesting about this one is that it's like the hair of one of our foremothers, right? You told oh, me that. Oh, it's so neat. Yeah, well, actually, what I learned is that in the Garden of Eden, in honor of Shabbos, that God braided Eve's hair, Chava's hair. So Really? That's so, that so nice. I, d yeah. I learned something new. <laughs> um... Okay, so then you go back the other way. Mm -hmm. So you take all of the ones that are under. Am I turning? I'm, I'm, I'm changing now? So once I'm all going. of them are over their partner. Good. got it. Then you go in the opposite, the opposite direction. direction. You put all of the ones that are, are, are under, under over. Over. So uh, over its partner. Oh, wait, I'm about to get confused. Over, and now over. Over, okay. Once I've touched it, I don't keep on weaving no, it. I no. just go over. Got over. it. Over. Beautiful. Okay, and now the opposite direction. The opposite direction. Over. Oh, wait. Over. This is cool. Now we're back where we started. Everyone's the same color. Right. Can I end it? That's how you know you're done. Yeah. So what some people do is they just twist the ends together and tuck them under. But what I do, this is a special trick. I pinch all the ends together and put them in the middle. Meet no them in way. the middle. Really? And then I lift it up. So beautiful. And it looks beautiful. It's like amazing. Rose. There's no end. I'm you just going to... Yeah, I think I uh, missed my mark here. But I'm going to say... No, yours is beautiful not too. Bad. Not bad. At all. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Where's that one that you made? The finished product is so magnificent. Look at this. This is what your challah is going to look like. And that wasn't hard. This is not hard. No, it it's five gorgeous. Seconds. Any baking tips on baking around Any challah? Any baking tips. So if you have a super soft dough and it's it's very, very runny and pliable, mm -hmm. um, you, you can take a round baking pan and plop your challah in that, but I just bake it flat because my dough stands up. Okay. And uh, I bake it for about, mm, for this size, about 25 minutes until it's golden brown. It'll be golden brown on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is really good stuff. Okay, thank you, Janet. And that 25 minutes, I feel like with this dough, it may take a little longer with the recipe that I, okay. my, with my recipe. So I guess it's just by look. I don't know. By look. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
fun. I knock on it. Like, if my hollow sounds, like, done. Okay. If, it, if it's hard enough to knock on. <laughs> love it. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Have fun making challah. It's the best in the mitzvah. I love it.